Hello, and welcome to the stream today. So let's get started with our lesson. Hold on, I need some blue juice before we start. The form we're going to be learning about today is so. In order to make it, you take a verb stem and you attach a, o, like usual, and then attach so. So the verb hada just becomes he so. The verb mokta, to eat, conjugates as mogo, so. This is all that you ever have to do. You don't have to ever use this with future tense or past tense. This one is done. Once you've gotten this, you're done. However, there is something you should know about the verb ida. The verb ida can conjugate as i, la, so. That's i, la, so after a consonant or just la, so after a vowel. Optionally, you also might find it conjugated this way. I, o, so. Or after a vowel, you might also see it shortened to just yo so. So if we're saying like hakyu, school, school ends with a vowel, hakyu ra so. Chip, house, ends in a consonant, chip i ra so, chip i ra so. Or alternatively, hakyu yo so, or chip i yo so. That's all you have to do. What's the difference? This one has a slightly friendlier feel. So this one tends to get used more often in conversation. So what does the so form mean? This is the main usage, the main feeling, the main purpose of using the so form is that it shows a cause and an effect. By that I mean something directly causes something to happen and that's the effect, that's what happens. This is actually important to keep in mind because this will help you distinguish when you want to use so or when you want to use nika, when you want to say because. So means there is a cause of something and an effect. That is what this whole form does. Something causes something else to happen. We can translate this form as either because or so. So if you have a, so, b, you have that meaning of a causes or cause b to happen. Not just b is because of a, but no, a actually causes b to happen doesn't necessarily mean in a negative way, just A directly is the cause of B. So A is the cause and B is the effect. What happened because of A? If you already understand the Nika form, this next part will make a lot of sense to you. We learned that the Nika form can be used to say a command or a suggestion because of something. For example, the weather is good. So because the weather's nice, let's go have a picnic. Or shall we go have a picnic because the weather's so good? Using commands or suggestions with the soul form is a big no-no. Why not? It doesn't make any sense to say, please do something because of something that's causing it. Now, I'll give you an example. Now, if you said the weather is so nice, so I went to the beach. The nice weather caused me to want to go to the beach or I went to the beach. Okay, good. The nice weather caused me to, let's go to the beach. Doesn't make any sense. It, there is no cause and effect in a command or a suggestion like that. You cannot use the so form with commands or suggestions. If you want to say a command, instead use the nika form because the unika ending doesn't have that restriction. But this form can be used to express emotion while the nika form is not. You can say I'm happy or I'm sad, etc. because of something. When you're using that, you're actually saying something something caused me to be happy or sad. A really common emotion you're going to use with this form is thank you and sorry. So to express thank you for doing something, you're always going to use this so form. Mannaso. Pangapsunida or pangaoyo, depending how you're using it. Mannada, to meet. Meeting you, meeting. So, because of that, I feel pangapta. Pangapta is like to be happy, to be glad, to see someone or glad to meet someone. That's what it means. So, I feel glad because I met you. So, meeting you or meeting, literally just meeting or meeting, meeting makes me feel glad. Mannaso pangapsunida means nice to meet you. Literally, though, I feel happy. I feel glad because we met. So meeting is the cause of me feeling happy. Although you cannot use the past tense, there are some cases where you can use the future tense, but it's not conjugated differently. Let me show you. First of all, if you have a sentence that is in the past tense, for example, something happened because of something. This verb, whatever verb it is, we'll use hada for example, 
still conjugates the exact same. It doesn't matter what the tense of the sentence is. This could be any tense. This will always be the standard conjugation. You do not need to conjugate this differently no matter the tense of the sentence. Do not use the past tense stem. Hesoso. You might see this. We'll talk about that at the end of the lesson. I'll give you some extra notes. Don't use it. You only need this. In the future tense, it still conjugates the same way, but there is a way that you can use this in the future tense because the future tense is this. Harkoyo, right? Harkoya is also the same thing because this eo at the end is actually from the verb ida. And we know that ida can also conjugate with this whole form as, for example, raso. So you can say, so because someone will do something or something will be something future tense. So you might see this used in the future tense, but just know you're never going to do something like no. All right, let's go to our first example sentence. So means to rain, literally the rain comes. So on a rainy day, literally a day when the rain comes, it is cool, 시원하다. Because it is cool, being cool causes me to feel 기분, my mood, 기분이 좋아요. So literally, my mood is good. So I feel good. It puts me in a good mood. But I feel good on rainy days because it's cool. 비가 오는 날은 시원해서 기분이 좋아요. I feel good on rainy days because it's cool. 늦어서 미안해요. So I am late. Because I am late, I'm sorry. So me being late makes me feel sorry. 늦어서 미안해요. I'm sorry, I'm late. What about saying thanks for doing something? When you say thanks for, what you're really saying is, because you did something, I feel thankful. 도와주다 means to help. So how do you conjugate that normally? 도와주어서, right? If you want to say thanks to a friend, thanks to someone close, you can say 도와줘서 고마워, or maybe 고마워요. Thanks for helping me. That's perfectly correct. But if you are going to be speaking to someone who you would normally use honorifics to, you should use 도와주시다, the honorific version, because you, the person I'm speaking honorifically to is you, and you are the one that helped me, so I want to use honorifics when referring to you. So I want to use 주시다. So we conjugate that. 도와주셔서. 감사합니다. 도와줘서 for your friends, and 도와주셔서 for everyone else. 아는 노래라서, because it is, remember, 라서 is from 이다, to be. So because it is a 노래 that I, 아는, so a song that I know, 따라 부르다, is to follow and sing, literally, so to sing along. 아는 노래라서, 따라 불렀어요. So I sing along because it's a song that I know. 아는 노래라서, 따라 불렀어요. 바빠서 전화를 못 받았어요. 바빠서. So because I am busy, because busy, but the last part of the sentence, 전화를 못 받았어요. I couldn't get the phone. Past tense. Because 바빠서. Because busy. Notice again, there is no tense here. It's not 바빠서서, just 바빠서. 바빠서 전화를 못 받았어요. So I couldn't get the phone because I was busy. Even though in Korean, because I am busy. 바빠서 전화를 못 받았어요. Just like the nika ending, the so ending can also be used at the end of a sentence as so or so yo to mean it's because. This is fairly common in conversation. Let me give you an example sentence of this. 제가 이걸 다 먹을 수는 없어서요. 제가 I 이걸 이것을 so this thing this this food whatever 다 completely all 먹다 to eat 먹을 수 없다 cannot eat. So, 먹을 수는 없어서요. So, it's because I can't eat all of this. 제가 이걸 다 먹을 수는 없어서요. It's because I can't eat it all. So, let's talk about some more advanced notes about this form and other forms you might have seen that look like this form but actually aren't. First of all, when you use the so form, this so, it's actually optional. You might see this form used without the so at the end. It's still conjugated, but there's no so. You might see in some more formal, or usually it's just written styles. And you might find sometimes more formal expressions that don't use it, sometimes idioms that don't use it, but it has the same meaning. My recommendation to you is to not remove it. One more thing, one more thing. I told you that this is only used in the regular conjugation as 해서, 
right? You don't do past tense or anything. There is a recent trend of using the past tense conjugation, for example, hesso, with the so form inside of sentences that are in the past tense. For example, someone might want to say, I couldn't go to the party because my stomach hurt. And normally you have to say a paso. But recently, there has been a trend of some people who would say it as a paso, because my stomach hurt in the past tense, trying to emphasize that no longer does it hurt, but at that time, I couldn't go because my stomach had hurt. It is wrong. Although you might see it, it is a bit awkward, I think, and I would not recommend doing this yourself. It actually does kind of sound awkward. Let me give you an example. If you're using the verb ita to exist, that would always become isoso. If you use this in the past tense, what you get, however, is isososo. This sounds like isososo. It just sounds like some fake language. It sounds weird. Let me give you another example that's even worse. Shita means to wash, like to wash up. Shisoso. Good. Shisososo. This sounds like really weird. So just be aware of it. You might see it, but know that sometimes it can sound awkward. Okay, there is one more use for this whole form, which is very common, that is not because. And that is to show that two actions are strongly related. So by this, it shows these two verbs, whatever comes before and whatever comes after, have a strong relationship. In order to use it like this, both A and B have to be action verbs. Let me give you a sentence example and then I'll tell you what it means. I'm going to the library and then I'm going to I'm going to study. So I'm going to the library and then I'm going to study. That's a normal sentence. Or you can use the so form. Note, it still is conjugating. Just the conjugation of kada is also ka. Both of these mean I will go to the library and study. But the nuance is completely different. Ko shows that one action happens and then another action happens. So it's simply like saying this and this. You can also think of go when used as verbs as meaning and then. I will go to the library and then I will study. There is no connection though between these two actions, going to the library and studying. This does not mean you're going to study at the library though. You could say, I'm going to the library and then I'm going to cook. You could say that because it's simply two actions. So if we switch this to so, you also get the meaning of I'm going to the library and I'm going to study. But now going to the library is related directly to studying. Therefore, you are studying at the library. You cannot say I'm going to the library and then studying if you mean somewhere else because these are now related. So connects strongly to actions. If you have A, so B, what you're saying is that B happens immediately after A. So if you're saying, I'm going to buy ingredients and cook for my friend, that means you're going to be using those ingredients to cook for your friend. Not just you're buying ingredients and you're going to cook something else for your friend, but you're going to be using those ingredients to cook for your friend. The key of this form when it's used like this is a strong relationship. You're going to the library and you're studying at the library. So whenever you use this hall, it does not mean simply that two things happen, but those two things are directly related. There's one more usage of this hall form. It can also be used to show the method or the way that something happens. When you use so to mean the method or way that something happens, the so is actually more commonly not added, but you might also see it added too. Bang uyue chigoso bogosoyo. Bang bread uyu milk. Chikta is to dip. Just don't double dip. That's like putting your whole mouth in the dip. Chigoso bokta. Dipping is the way that you eat it. So I dipped it and that's how I ate it. I ate it by dipping it in milk. So I ate the bread by dipping it in milk. I ate the bread by dipping it in milk and eating it. All right, that is our lesson for today. Thank you for coming and I will see you next week.